Wichita Falls Fire Department struggling with overtime costs and juggling the 51 rostered employees in each battalion. City staff and fire department leaders are looking for ways to cut overtime and keep stations manned adequately. And Curtis Jackson sat down with Wichita Falls Fire Chief Ken Prillman today. And Curtis, a FEMA grant may provide some answers to what that best solution might be. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. The $1.2 million grant, if approved, would allow the fire department to hire additional firefighters for three years. Lightening the load of the ones who find themselves filling in for those out on vacation or on sick leave. And it might also show the city if hiring more firefighters permanently is more cost effective than paying overtime. Wichita Falls Fire Chief Ken Prilliman says the city has been paying roughly $600,000 each year on overtime in recent years. In fact, last year he says they spent a little more than $900,000 leaving city councilors looking for a way to bring the overtime down. One of only a few ways to do anything about overtime is to at least consider adding additional staff. Taking that 51 to 52 or 53 per day and give us a little more flexibility or elasticity in our staffing. The grant from FEMA would pay all cost of adding up to six additional firefighters for three years. Prilliman says not only would more staff help with the overtime issue, he says there are other benefits as well. Between uh, the, the schedule they're on and the, the crew sizes that they have, you know, the, amount, the amount of overtime means that you know, there's a percentage of our staff that's not getting the, the days off between their shifts that their, their schedule normally allows for. Prilliman says not only does the overtime create budget problems, it can have effects on the firefighter's health as well. There's also been studies out for years and years that talk about the efficiency of a four-person crew compared to a three-person crew. They're able to do the things on the fire ground quicker and with less injury. He says if the grant comes through, he's confident they can fill those positions quickly. Now, Prilliman says they are expecting to hear back on the grant around August or September. All right, that could be a really good thing, Curtis. Thanks so much for breaking it down for us. Well, the Wichita Falls.